Hi guys, welcome to My Math with Mrs. Hoskins. Today you're going to need a pencil, your bag of shapes, and your paper for lesson six, which is 667. We will be doing more composite shapes. Okay, let's get ready to learn. So our lesson today, 9.6, is on more composite shapes. So last time we were doing composite shapes, we took two shapes, put them together, and created a new shape. And we will be doing more of that today. So the first thing we're to do is put two pattern blocks together and create a new shape. I'm going to start with my hexagon and trace it. Mm -hmm. And well, it's a little bumpy. Let's give him a hat with a trapezoid. All right. Now it says take the same two shapes and do something different with them, make a different uh, idea. So let's see, how about we trace our trapezoid on its side. And this is just having fun with shapes and trying to make different things with them. Let's try point to point. No, I want to do it this way. You don't have to use the same two shapes as I did. You can pick two different shapes if you want to. Okay. There we go. Let me go to the inside. Well, now we have a triangle that they created. See and show. You can move pattern blocks around to make different composite shapes. So over here they used the trapezoid and the triangle to create a bigger triangle and now they moved them. Let's build what they did. They moved them, same shapes, but now it creates a different composite shape. So let's go ahead and trace that. Triangle and trapezoid. All right, and at the bottom it says circle the pattern blocks used to make the composite shape. Then use the same blocks to make a new shape. Draw your shape. So they used the rhombus and the trapezoid. So now we have to get a rhombus and a trapezoid and just move them to a different position. Make a different shape with them. So I'm gonna lay mine on its side Trace it and then hmm, how about like this? And let's stop. Talk math. Describe two shapes you could put together to make a rectangle. Well, in the earlier lesson, they had us use two orange colored shapes to build a rectangle. Do you remember what they are? Squares, good. Let's go ahead and draw that down here. Let's draw a square plus another square. And then we have a rectangle. All right, going on to on my own. Use the pattern blocks shown, so four green triangles, 
to make the composite shape. Then use the same blocks to make a new shape. Draw your shape. Down here we have two triangles and a rhombus. You have to try to make a new shape and trace it. And then on this one, we have a trapezoid, a rhombus, and a triangle. So this is on my own. Go ahead and get started. Okay, so for number two, I need four triangles. First, you were supposed to build the shape that they built. And then we're supposed to take those triangles and build something else with them. So I would just move this over, move my trapezoid over, and add another triangle for my shape and then trace it that's gonna be interesting because those little guys like to move did you have a hard time tracing yours or were they cooperative you may have to ask somebody to help you hold them down okay hmm. interesting now I need my two triangles and my rhombus, and I'm going to build what they made. And now I'm going to build something different. Ooh, I know if I just turn the triangle around. I guess that's sort of the same thing, isn't it? Oh, I remember. <gasps> A cat. Yes. I'm going to trace my cat. Did you make a cat too? Or did you come up with a different shape? There's my cat. Meow. Meow. All right, now I need a triangle, a rhombus, and a trapezoid. To build a hexagon. And now for a new shape. Let's see. That kind of looks like fun. So now I'll trace this. Really, this is just about having fun with shapes. It doesn't have to be a great work of art. Okay, that kind of looks like Pac-Man, but pointy. He's ready to eat some dots. I'm going to the back. Problem solving. Edgar is making different shapes using these four pattern blocks. Draw one of the shapes Edgar can make. So what can he make with four triangles? Well, I think he can make one really big triangle. If you remember, we made it 
on the second page, or they made it. So then I trace it. And again, if you need to ask somebody to help you hold those little guys down, I'm sure you have someone there who can help. Okay. Alex, Alex, you're famous. Alice, Alex has a hexagon. He cuts it apart into a trapezoid and three triangles. Draw lines to show this. Explain your answer. Okay, so if I take the trapezoid and three triangles, but I'm going to cheat and just use one. Okay, and let's say Alex can use a trapezoid. for the top and three triangles for the bottom. And that concludes our lesson, chapter 9.6. Have a great day. See you next time.